So once again, here's another example. All right, here's the notice sign right here, right? This kind of stuff is usually set for, for me to be able to see is in my line of sight and uh, where I am. Again, I showed you something like this before, right? You got these poles right here, and then one pole has the caution signs all over it. So for anybody out there who doesn't quite understand the dynamics of this whole gang stalking, watch listed uh, program, this is what it is. You see, you got the cones and everything surrounding this one right here, where the other ones don't necessarily have anything on it. All right? So this is supposed to be a, a message to me to let me know what time it is. Okay? See that? All the other poles don't have anything on it. And the cones and the caution signs are wrapped around this one. So that one right there represents the TIs, the targeted individuals, those that are in this program being uh, uh, harassed and surveilled 24 hours a day in today's society. This is what it's about right here. All right, so get that image in your head. For those of you don't, who don't understand what this is really about, what we're trying to say, this is what's being done to us in actual reality in our society today. Okay, good people. Um, I, got, I got something I want to talk to you TIs about right quick. Or people who might not be a TI and you, you're looking at this content and, you know, you might be on the verge of becoming one. Let me help you guys out with something real quick, right? I want to talk to you about something that could be getting people caught up and put into this program and labeled as a potential terrorist or um, domestic terrorist or whatever the case may be. Right. All right. So, for instance, you got YouTube here, you know, it's all kind of videos here on YouTube. We like to watch and, you know, enjoy this stuff and learn a lot of different things and get a lot of information. All right. And within the past 10 years or so, a lot of the conscious stuff really came to the forefront, all right? Depending on whatever side of the aisle you're on, right or left, Democratic, Republican, or black, white, whatever. So if, if you find yourself being someone that's more that's interested in more than just sports and, and, and just a normal run-of-the-mill Fortnite or whatever, if you're checking stuff out like uh, Ben Shapiro, right, Alex Jones, um, you know, especially for people who are of African descent, African American. Say you're, you're into the conscious community, right? You're looking at Brother Polite. You're looking at the uh, uh, Bobby Hemmets and uh, the uh, Tariqs and the Red and Blue Pill. You know, um, Seti. I, you know, I hear my man DB uh, reference Seti from time to time. Uh, things like that, right? You're looking at these videos. All right. So you look at enough of them. Google will probably report you uh, to Homeland Security. All right. They'll, you know, mention it the fact that you are consuming a lot of material from uh, individuals who uh, speak on a lot of conspiracies, who may be speaking out against certain things that's going on in the United States. Um, you know, just things that they necessarily, government issues and things that they don't necessarily want. Uh, people really looking into too much, right? So you're, you're listening to these individuals' uh, videos and getting that information. All right, that's one strike, right? They'll put you on. Maybe they'll start. Now they're going to watch you a little more closely, right? Now, say maybe you've been in trouble in the past. You know, maybe you have a felony charge or two. Maybe you've done a little time, all right? So now you're potentially an issue because of that alone you, people who might be felons out there you guys I'm, I'm sure you have stories about you know what you go through just by having that strike against you all right and let's say also you live in a state like i've been living in the past for the past 10 years down in florida and atlanta you know atlanta georgia area down in georgia where the gun rights are pretty loose you can just go purchase a gun for the most part um in georgia you can just go buy a gun They'll do a background check, but you can go in, buy it the same day, and walk out. And walk out, or you can purchase one online, have it sent to a, a dealer, and just go get it, just like that. But they do run background checks. So say you purchase a few guns, um, maybe maybe buy three or four guns in a range of two years. All right, you might get flagged because of that. All right. So now, oh, and then on top of that, maybe you're in a state where marijuana is not legal 
legalized yet. All right. So you got your plug. You know, you like to buy your herb, you know, whatever, whatever. It's legal. A lot of places is it's getting really relaxed. But you know what? It's still illegal in certain places. So now your phone number and name is popping up in your plug's phone list. All right. Your plug is already being watched by the police if he's not already the police or whatever, FBI. So now your phone is in his contact list, you know, with outgoing and ingoing calls, text messages, making all kinds of deals. You thinking nothing of it. It's all good. But imagine who else that that guy might be connected to all the. So so imagine all the kind of people that he may be connected to, the people who may be coming in and out of his phone list, his text messages. You just never know. Right. Because, you know, the first thing when you meet these plugs out here, hey, put my number in your phone, put my number in your phone. So now your number is in the phone connected with this person who is, is actually selling an illegal substance. Even though it's just marijuana, we know it's not much to it, but technically it's still illegal, right? So now you're connected to crime and possibly a criminal organization. If he's connected to a gang, which a lot of people who, who, who are out here selling, they are connected to gangs or they're dealing with gangs, whatever. So now you're connected in that network. So say you like to smoke a little weed. Now you're caught into a network of a, of a uh, organized crime or a street gang or just a dealer, period. You're in his phone list. You guys are calling and texting back and forth. You purchased a few guns legally, of course, in a legal state, but they ran the background check. So your name is coming up, pop, 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 purchasing guns. All right. Now, on top of that, um, you're watching videos um, that are, uh, we know, conspiracy theories or the conscious community and they're discussing this, you know, government things and government issues that, you know, certain people who are these squares who, who sit here and look at this stuff, they might not understand that maybe you're just an open minded individual and you're just listening to people's, you know, for whatever reason, you might just be checking some stuff out because you're interested, you're curious, but they don't take it that way. They, they take all of this and put it together. Now they have a portfolio of you in the FBI. So now you're looking like a violent extremist, right, who is connected to crime and criminals and a criminal organization. Now, when they want to go and designate you to be put on a, a terrorist watch list or, or, or whatever kind of watch list, they now have a nice list of um, complaints and red flags to utilize to uh, paint this picture that you are a possible threat so you're all good you're smoking your herb you got your few guns in your closet just to protect your home or whatever protect your family legally purchased of course and you know you like to you know smoke one and listen to these different things on youtube the algorithms pop up you might listen to this video you might listen to that video you know you're just you're just a little interested you're curious you're open-minded right pause so now you you're you're, you're being uh, painted as something that you might not actually be and next thing you know you're riding down the street and you're starting to notice certain vehicles following you around everywhere you go you're starting to notice strange people uh, walking behind you wearing certain colors uh, taking pictures of you and then it turns into to this whole gang stalking situation that we call it now it, what we what we consider it as gang stalking but must, you know, because of all this technology nowadays, these phones, all this Internet and all these different things. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you're just living life, living the same kind of life that people lived, you know, 15, 20, you know, 15, 20, 25 years ago. Normally, you know, just living these same type of lives and they were perfectly fine. You know, I know people who worked government jobs and smoked heavy weed their whole entire life. On the lunch break, before work, after work, all day long. We, 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 we. Co-workers so just living their life, doing what they want to do, enjoying all kinds of women, doing their thing. You know, nowadays we can't do that. Maybe you're online meeting women, or you're just dealing with a lot of women. Period. You know, and now you can get, you can get designated from that. You know, oh, this person could be a possible uh, sexual predator. You <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're getting on Tinder, uh, linking up with chicks, and maybe you're being a little too successful you know, with getting laid, quote unquote, for somebody's taste. All right. So now you can also be considered a sexual predator. Throw that on your list. Um, and all of these things, as I speak, there's a guy walking right past me. It's 933 uh, p.m. right now. And there's a guy walking directly in front of me with his phone facing me with a hoodie on. He just came out of nowhere, by the way, the empty parking lot. Um, I should just turn the camera around, but I'm not. So anyway, this is what happens. So now you're just out in the world and you, you, you've been put on one of these lists 
And now you're, you're stalked and watched and your whole life has changed. And this and now had this been 15, 20, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, you wouldn't have had any problems. You, you're just a normal red blooded American with everything that I pretty much just mentioned there. So these this is how things have changed. We have to adapt with the times and realize that so for some of us it's too late. We're already designated on these lists and they're getting money off of it with this Homeland Security grants and different things of that nature to watch us. But for anyone out there who might be listening to this stuff and you're not, you know, designated and you're not you're not, you know, put in this little category yet. Just be careful what you do. Things that you might think that are just nothing that people have been doing for a long period of time with no issue. Now it's an issue and, it, and people have financial incentive to make it an issue. You understand what I'm saying? People getting paid. The, the little uh, jerk that just walked past me with the hoodie on with his phone facing me at 933, which is one of the numbers on my list. He got paid for doing that. You know, uh, these different the organization that h uh, hired him or he works for to do that. They get they're getting grant money in order to give him a little chump change so they can uh, get paid to do stuff like that. So they can ride around in that nice new Buick. You know what I'm saying? So they can afford uh, to pay the car insurance or the boat insurance. I'm down here in Florida on, on, on their little boat. They like to jump in and go fishing on the weekend, you know, because they're connected to Neighborhood Watch and their Neighborhood Watch organization filled out the right paperwork in order to get a grant from Homeland Security to get out here and stalk and make our lives miserable and have us walk around everywhere with no anonymity being watched and, and make to feel uncomfortable everywhere we go. So you have to take all this into account and realize this is a new world. It's a new world order. And these are the type of things that will get you um, caught up in the mix and thrown in this whole matrix, so to speak, which is funny. The Matrix movie just came out this past week. Um, I, go, I got to check that out. But um, this is just something to learn from. Um, it's a new time that we're living in. And these, like I said, some of these people who are reporting this, they, they know that these things, you might not even be any kind of threat, but there's a financial incentive for people to have us thrown on this list. And some of these people might just be green squares, nerds who just don't get it. And they figure some of this stuff needs to be reported and they do it. So I just want to get that word out, you know, as I've been dealing with this stuff and, you know, I, I'm learning more about it. And I realize these are some of the things that are getting people thrown in the mix and they don't even realize it. All right, so I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Be safe out there. Peace. All right, good people. So check this out, right? I just got finished pumping gas. And I'm going to show you all something here. Now, this could be here for me. Could not. I'm not going to say it is. But here's an example, right? You have these black containers right here. All of them are the same. Same height, same everything. Same condition. But one has caution tape wrapped around it and what I wanted to say is I want to liken this to the targeted individual program right here you have all of these containers pretty much the same probably have all the same stuff in them but all you have to do is wrap caution tape around one of them and anyone who looks over here anyone who deals with it will that one will stand out that one will be one that you take extra caution with and this is pretty much what they do to you as a targeted individual in this whole gang stalking program more than likely that container contains the same thing as all the rest of them nothing wrong with it it's all the same but somebody decided to wrap caution tape around that particular one so therefore anyone who's unknowing um, that doesn't really know the difference will just assume that that one particular container has an issue that there's a, re a need to be cautious of that particular container and that's pretty much what they're doing with this whole targeted and in targeted individual gang stalking program you have all kinds of people out here in society doing all kinds of stuff, raping, robbing, murdering, molesting, killing, everything you can imagine. And that could be any of these containers right here. And the one that has the caution tape around it just may be one that's not doing any of that. But all it takes is for someone to wrap caution tape around that particular container and that one is going to stand out. That's going to be the one that people take extra caution with while ignoring the rest of them. You understand? That container right there could just be one that uh, whenever the employee was rolling the containers out, maybe that one rolled off and fell on his toe by accident. So now he doesn't like that container, right? He's pissed off at that particular container. So he wraps caution tape around that one. And even though it's probably the same as all the rest, you understand? But 
he, he has an issue with that particular container. So all it takes is to wrap caution tape around it, whether it needs to be there or not, and it's gonna get special attention. It's, you know, anyone dealing with this one or looking over here, they're gonna see, hey, that there's a hazard, there's a caution to be taken with this particular container. And that's pretty much the targeted individual gang stalking program being watch listed in a nutshell, right there. It's a good exa visual example for people who might not understand what this is all about. This is what it is right here. They pretty much put a virtual, they pretty much put a virtual invisible caution tape around you as a targeted individual using these devices and this technology via alert systems and uh, different things of that nature simultaneously around the world they put this caution tape around you um, in a way that will make you stand out and cause people to have extra care and extra caution with you even if it doesn't need to be so this is pretty much what it means to be a target individual right here peace talking new world right look at this this is a tesla electric car station all these teslas and electric cars or whatever are sitting here getting well wow, look at all these nice cars and this one right here is awesome man yes new world people have one smashed up joint it's like the one targeted individual in the bunch right all, everybody's saying all get gassed up whatever or charged up excuse me they don't use gas and then the one TI 